on, Mr. Old Time One here, getting ready to go do some metal detecting. Um, just got a new permission today. Um, it's going to be a old farm. Uh, it goes back to like the early 1600s, 1700s. But anyway the, anyway, the woman that runs the farm, she's really nice. She said I could go there anytime. Uh, I'm hoping that there's cellar holes and stuff there. But if there's not, oh well, uh, if we take it the way we get it. So anyway guys, uh, come on and join me and enjoy this hunt. Hopefully we can find some cool coins and relics. Alright guys, stand by. Alright you guys, uh, I'm at the farm. Uh, I found an 1800 cemetery. There's all the stones right here. So, I'm not going to hunt in there. <laughs> I'm going to be hunting around the perimeter. But I'm going to be looking for cellar holes. Anyway, I just found something. Let me show it to you guys. Stand by. This thing was really deep. It gave me a like 40 signal and it was like about 8 inches deep. And I'm not sure what it is. It's just a big piece of lead. But uh, I don't know if it's a slug or what, but it sure is heavy. Anyway, stand by. Alright guys, first find at the farm, and it looks like I found myself a horse buckle. Alright, stand by. Alright guys, second find of today, of today. and it's a uh, part of a compact. Looks like the cover of it. So, it's got a little ornate design on it. Alright. Alright, stand by. Okay everyone, I'm back from the farm hunt. Um, talked to the woman that runs the farm. Really nice, really nice lady. Um, she was telling me that there was a uh, civil war that happened on her property. So um, I'm looking forward to finding some cool stuff there. Uh, going back to that time also but uh, anyway let me show you guys what I found um, I didn't get to find many um, targets but considering the time I was there and I've never been there before I think I did pretty well um, there's a couple of things that I didn't get to show you guys on um, I didn't get to videotape so I will uh, show it to you guys now all right all right first First of all, I found this. It's a piece of lead. I'm not sure if it, what kind of bullet or whatever it is. It's it's really heavy, and I know it's old. And this was like eight inches deep. Okay, I got some modern bullet shells. Uh, found this um, cover for a compact. Found the horse buckle, nice one. It looks like for a horse buckle strap. Uh, this weird piece, I don't know what it is. Maybe from an old button or something. I don't know. It doesn't have a backing to it, but uh, gave a good signal. Found this. Don't know what that is, but that also gave me a good signal. And then I found a uh, Zippo lighter. Probably from uh, it was in the in the woods, so maybe a hunter dropped it or something. And then, uh, last but not least, I believe this is a toe tap. And at first, I didn't know what it was, so that's why I didn't videotape it. I thought it was a piece of junk. And I do remember digging it, and it was very deep. It was about nine inches deep. So I know the location of where I found it. I'll have to go back to that area and uh, see if I could find more relics there but anyway these were my finds for um, I think I was out for like maybe three hours but, uh, her property is so big I was all over the place oh and I'm sorry and I found two wee pennies no dates just they kind of beat up but I found two wee pennies even that one's so hard to see but it's it's a wee Oh. 
anyway, yeah, so, uh, I'll have to do some more research and, um, go back again and hopefully, uh, find some cool stuff to show you guys. So, thanks for, uh, joining me in this hunt and, uh, stay tuned for next time. I will definitely be going back soon. Alright guys, good luck out there. Happy hunting and I'll catch you guys later. Take care.